Pavetta, Joe DeRosa, and Tim Donahue. Well, Mark, when we spoke yesterday to Flip Saunders, a Minnesota coach, a couple things he said. Peeler, Wally Zerbiak, Terrell Brandon. They've got to be able to do that. He said, tough way to go here against San Antonio. They're averaging under 76 in the first two. And this crowd is sky high. Flip Saunders appealing to the fans on the Minnesota Timberwolves. As you saw, that home record 30 and 11, best in the history of the franchise. Kevin Garnett, kind of season, they peaked at the right time. The NBA's best overall record. That means home court advantage throughout the playoffs. And they finished up winning 21 on their last 26. Tim Duncan gets the spot. Minnesota's got to find a way to get a score here. They do not want to dig themselves a hole and take this crowd out of the game, Mark. Garnett, strong move by Kevin Garnett. The winner of this series faces the entire four days. They expect him to be better today, Mark. By Brandon Bet, by Ferry on the switch. Here's Garnett again taking it to the rim and draws the foul. The passion, the energy of Kevin Garnett, the crowd, the team, everybody feeds off of it. He missed his first shot, a jumper. This time he drives the ball to the basket and gets a score. The next time, another powerful move, the strong crossover. Now remember, these are two of the best defensive big men in the NBA. He double team. You're going to pay from the perimeter, and San Antonio has been the best in the league this year from behind that line. And you saw the, the numbers for Danny Ferris. What a pickup Danny Ferry has been. He has worked his way into the starting lineup because of the injuries. Here's Garnett. The injuries suffered by Sean Elliott, Malik Rose, and Ferry has, has come through in grand fashion. Spurs with the 8-5 lead. Robinson. Because he pushed the ball up the floor to get an easy one. But look what happens when Kevin Narnett gets in the lane. Look at that. Two guys going for the shot block. So he has to get them off their feet. Go up. Pounds very wide body in his sixth year out of Wyoming. So uh, Slater now matched with Robinson. Shot clock. Down to seven. Deflected out by Garnett. Antonio, San Antonio is a very good half-court team. Margaret, other than Derek Anderson, they don't have great speed and quickness. They have to do it with execution. Duncan played by Garnett. Oh. And goes glass. <laughs> Tim Duncan. He's not afraid to mix it up in there and get people agitated. And I know you say that in an affectionate yeah. time. <laughs> As Garnett comes right back at the Wolves. Lead by one. They're very furry. One of them. getting the ball up the floor. They have to like what they're doing right now, Mark. Five and a half remaining in this opening quarter. Timberwolves up by one. A traveling violation is called on Tim Duncan. Let's. Denver came back against Seattle. Then he had Ellis and Hammond speak to the team. Those guys told him take it one quarter at a time. Don't try and focus on the big picture. Play it up and down the court. Each possession is very important. And you know something, any... Take a seat, Malik Rose. Checking in for Duncan to pick up a second. David Robinson led beautifully by Terry Porter. And the Timberwolves lead by one. This is the beauty of David Robinson. When Duncan is in the game, he says, you know what, I'll be the second guy. Duncan sits down, I'll be the guy that you can go to. That's the kind of adjustment he has made, Marv, as Duncan has become a star here in this league. Robinson has nine points. Terry Porter spent three years with Minnesota, just recently celebrated a 38th birthday. Robinson on the follow. So David playoffs much in his career, only four playoff games for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's getting his uh, teeth cut here and in big pressure right now. And he comes off an outstanding regular season. Foul is called up high, and that puts day long. Walker stepping out on a switch. Garnett, yes. So when you got fresh the game with three minutes gone by in the second. Look at the footwork by Duncan. Gave it up to Daniels. Antonio Daniels from downtown by Avery Johnson. Shot clock at five. Nice ball movement. Well, that paid off. Felipe Lopez. Avery Johnson. Serviak lost it. And a 
a foul, Garnett tackling Duncan. Well, those are the kind of foul about 50 feet away from the basket. Wally Zerbiak really struggling today. I don't know if his ankle is bothering him. Not been able to get into the flow of things. And there's the little takedown worth two points for Kevin Garnett. Near Peeler popping and Brandon did a moment ago. Duncan not able to get to that second opportunity. And a foul is called on Duncan. And Dean Garrett at the line. Minnesota has a seven-point lead with this first half winding down. Garnett being played by Walker. Garnett. Yes. He's got, he's got it today. When you've got this kind of bounce, that means you're feeling. Look at him. The spin creates distance. The great extension. You can't block that shot. Have a nine-point lead. Trying to get back into the series. They're down two games to nothing. Here's Anthony Peeler drilling it. They got to hit the boards. We're minus six on the boards and zero offensive rebounds. So look for those guys really to try and follow up and get some second chance opportunities. Mark. Thanks, Jim. Here's Duncan off the fake. And a foul is called. San Antonio, Brandon. Brandon and Peeler at the guards. Nesterovich up front with Serbiak and Garnett. Garnett. He was looking for contact. Yeah, he was so open there, he didn't know what to do. He's used to seeing both of the Twin Towers. That time, none of them were around. Duncan, offensively. Good no call that time. David Robinson leaned in and tried to uh, draw the contact. Here's Peeler. Garnett is fouled. Fouled by Anderson. Well, Anthony, no, no, no. Have a seat right here next to me. Played by Walker. Here's Garnett off the spin. Yes. 18. That was tip. And Garnett came up with a steal. Brandon. Oh, he wanted to shoot that three. Serbiak backing Anderson. Serbiak. Serbiak. Antonio Daniels met by Anthony Peeler. Tim Duncan in a very quiet. Elliott finding Duncan rejected, but it'll count. It's a goal tag. You have to know him, Duncan. He knows he's not an excitable player, that he's not probably going to pick up a silly foul. He comes in out of the timeout with him. He gets two quick baskets. So the lead now from 10 to 4. Shot clock at five. Garnett. Yes. That's good recognition. Malik Rose cannot block his. Finally giving the Spurs the lead. Slater again going at Duncan is playing with four. No question about the intent of <laughs> every possession vital now as we get into the last ten minutes of the fourth. Slater. Duncan stepping back. Reggie Slater with his. Let's see how Slater fares on the other end. Slater. Slater again going at Duncan. Rejected by Duncan. It will be San Antonio. Ball foul is. No, apparently uh, just a clean block. Tim Duncan said, I think I've seen enough of Reggie Slater here. I'm going to block this shot and the ball goes off Minnesota. Spurs now got to get Duncan back involved in this game. It's going to be an offensive foul on Duncan who got wrapped up with Reggie Slater from Greg Popovich. Now watch here as they get locked up. Duncan has his arm up underneath Reggie Slater. Slater has come up big just when Minnesota has needed him. Duncan with four fouls. Garnett resting. They go to him on the post. He gives him two points. Follows it up with another jump hook. So four big points. And he goes down and gets the fifth foul on Duncan. Up by seven. Here's Johnson for Robinson. Shot clock at five. Double pump by Robinson.
Johnson rolls with the rebound, and he is fouled. And Malik Nine. T Wolves in front. Lafonso Ellis, Kevin Garnett, Sam Mitchell up front. Garnett. Garnett. Brandon. Nowhere to go with that shot, but able to retrieve. Garnett with a shot clock at one. Anderson for Duncan. Whoa. What a speed of Derek Anderson and Tim. Just under three minutes remaining in the fourth. Minnesota by six. Good defense here by the T-Wolves. Duncan going at Garnett. Rejected by Garnett. Big jump shot. And a huge turnaround sequence to block. Followed by the jumper by Brandon. Oh, beautifully done. Duncan lobbing Robinson. They are the best shooting three-point team of the NBA. Duncan beating Slater, and that's number six on Slater. And that's a great foul. Reggie Slater takes the foul. You know Duncan has not been a great free throw shooter. Looking to extend this series to a game four here in Minnesota on Monday night. Peeler, yes. Oh, Anthony Peeler has come. Whoops. Remaining on the four. Next foul. Puts the Spurs over the limit. Foul is called on Anderson. So the Wolves bouncing back from a, a bad performance in game two at the Alamo Dome. Monday night, losing by 17. They shot only 33%. Their second lowest this series will go to a game four on Monday night here in Minneapolis. David Robinson led the Spurs with 22 and 16. Tim Duncan in foul trouble. Never did get going. He finished with 15 points. So coming up next, except down the West Coast, it's Golden Eye.